Today's five minute Friday is on gas or gear acquisition syndrome. And this is a problem that I struggle with, but I also know that a lot of other creatives struggle with as well. And it's something that needs to be talked about and there, there needs to be some help on how to overcome gear acquisition syndrome. And today I'm coming to you with three tips, three steps, three tricks to fight gas. Now, before we get started, my name is Jeremy. I am a freelance photographer, videographer, and post-production specialist here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I've created this channel just to talk to creatives, to have fun, to have another creative outlet, but also to bring you tips and tricks and uh, f help you guys figure out how to start a business. Um, as somebody who has started his own business, there are a lot of things that you just don't really understand and don't really know, and you need to be able to have a resource for that. And so I wanted to create this channel just to be that resource. So. If you, if you like this and you wanna follow me more on this journey, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I post another video. And if you have any content suggestions, please comment them down below so that I can read them and potentially make a video on them. Now with that out of the way, this is the second installment of Five Minute Friday. The whole point of this series is to get out a video that's short, but brings you a lot of information and helps solve a lot of problems. I wanted to do this because I wanted to get more consistent on this platform, and this is a way that I can do that with the time that I have. Okay, gas or gear acquisition syndrome. This is a problem that plagues a lot of creatives. Nowadays, there are just, there's just so much gear out there. There's you know new cameras coming out, seems like every month. There's new lenses coming out and they're about the same amount of time. There's lights and microphones and everything. And it's hard because you just want it all. And you need to figure out how you're gonna go about actually investing properly into what you need to run your business better, but also to take you to the next level. So I've come up with three tips, three questions that I ask myself every single time that I buy a new piece of gear. So number one is, do you have a problem that this new piece of gear will fix? That's the biggest thing. So say you have an A7 III and you need 4K 10-bit internal. You don't wanna use an external monitor, you just want to use it internally in the camera. Well then yes, you need to upgrade to the A7 IV or the A7S III. There's a problem that you have that needs to be fixed and this new piece of gear will fix that and allow you to up your quality or up your efficiency or whatever it is, it will help you get to that next level. Now, the second tip, kind of along the lines of the first tip, is are, have you outgrown this piece of gear? When I was in college, I was using a DSLR, it was a crop sensor, it was the Pentax K3. And when I was graduating from college, I realized, okay, this camera has done really well for me and it has taken me so far in my career and my journey, but I'm about maxed out with what this camera is capable of doing. And so at that point I decided, okay, it's time to get a new camera and it's time to get a full frame camera. I finally got that full frame camera that I needed to take my stuff to the next level. And that's that question of, is my gear hindering my performance? Will this actually boost my performance? So it really did take my stuff to the next level. And it was just a necessary upgrade that eventually happened when I maxed out the potential that my other gear had. And then tip number three is just the simple, do you need it? For example, I with these YouTube videos, I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro. It's an on-camera shotgun microphone and it's pretty cheap. And I would love the Sennheiser MKE 600. However, this does fine. The audio from it is great. I throw the little stuff on it in post and it's fine. So I don't need the Sennheiser MKE 600. For now, this is fine. So it's something like that where you just don't necessarily need it. It's more of a want. So I'm about to purchase the GH6. And I've done a lot of thinking on this because as the GH5 shooter, I really love 
the GH5, and I love Panasonic lineup. But there are a few problems for me with the GH5 that have made me want to upgrade. The main one being 8-bit in 4K60. When you use Vlog L in the 8-bit codec, and especially when you shoot low light weddings, it just crumbles. So for me, upgrading to the GH6, which has 422 10-bit internal, is a game changer. And the second thing is, I know I could use an external monitor, and I did, but the HDMI port broke. So unfortunately, I can't use the HDMI with the GH5 anymore. And then third, when I shoot a wedding, I really love to have the backup record. If anything happened to the Atomos SSD, I would still have something inside the camera and that you can't HDMI trigger the GH5. So for me, these were big problems that I needed solved. And the GH5, though it's a fantastic camera, I'm getting to about the limits of it. So I needed an upgrade. That's why I'm going with the GH6. I used all three of those questions to figure out whether I really actually needed the camera. To conclude this, again, I know that gear acquisition syndrome is really hard to fight. I, again, I suffer with it every day, but you really have to figure out where you're going, what gear you need to get there, and your finances. A lot of the time buying new gear is going to cost a lot and you have to make sure that you can actually afford to do that. So using these three steps, you should be able to figure out whether what you're looking at to purchase is actually a good investment, uh, is really going to help you out in your career, or if it's just something to buy for the clout. So. With that, this is another installment of 5 Minute Friday. I hope these are helpful. I hope that you learn things from these. I just wanted to bring this to you guys today. I think it's a really important topic for creatives. With that being said, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to see more, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I post another video. If you think this would help another creative, please send that along to them. Post it in any groups that you want um, and leave any comment or uh, comments or content suggestion in the comments section below and I hope you have a great day and I hope you stay safe.